Okay, now it's flashing engine overheated. Oh my gosh. We're Riley and Courtney and Casey. After traveling for six months in a truck camper we built ourselves, we fell in love with North Idaho and purchased 20 acres of raw, off-grid land. We spent the summer building our 30 by 40 barn dominium, and with the weather changing, we are pushing hard to get our building insulated, heated, and comfortable. We are going to unload the snowplow out of the truck, hopefully without breaking the back window out of the truck. I'm going to use this approved lifting device. Time to call on the professional driver. With eight inches of snow falling last night and a lot more over the next few days, we need to get a little more prepared around here and I have some shoveling to do. Look what I found, Bailey. <laughs> the missing toy. The snow plow mounting bracket that we needed to put our plow on the truck was back ordered, but it finally just arrived, which is awesome because we need a plow. <laughs> so we are headed over, our really nice neighbor, thank you Greg so much, went over and he actually picked it up for us. So we just have to get it from his house. So we're gonna head over there. So we're gonna take the snow overlander. It's not frozen to the ground. chariot awaits. I can't see out the windshield so I have my head out the window. It's working pretty well. to come back with the chainsaw and do a little uh, trimming. All right, finally got them out. It's time to get our plow truck set up just in time for the big snow. And while Riley works on getting that plow installed, I'm gonna work on getting the snow off the roof of this trailer before it caves in. Thank you, Courtney. Keeping our trailer from collapsing. Build carports around here. Our neighbors heard that our snow plow was delayed and they came over to help us get a jump on all this clearing. So, thank you so much, Pat and Greg. We really, really, really appreciate your help. It's pretty nice under here. <laughs> I'm taking the plastic bumper thing off to make room for the plow mount. Yeah. This truck is pretty rusty. Okay, now that that's out of the way, put about the plow all the way up. This thing is stuck, frozen to the ground. There we go. Nice. So one issue I discovered with this plow when we were buying it is that it, there is a broken wire in this connector on the plow side. I can buy an entire new plow side harness, 
but I wanted to wait and make sure that the plow was gonna work before I spent any more money on it. So my plan right now is to figure out which wire is the broken wire and just run a wire around that connector from the plow to the truck to get by for now. Oh, maybe I'll need to lift up and you're gonna keep it. Okay. All right, we have a plow mounted. That's exciting. That is an exciting step one. All right, does it go up? Ready? No, there's chains. You go that way, it looks like. Two chains. Mm -hmm. Okay, take however many times, 10, we're gonna go up now. very um jerky well i finished getting this plow figured out Courtney decided to take things into our own hands guys i think we have more snow on the ground here than we remembered because this is like an 18 inch tall bank hey you're spitting snow on me So I discovered that it was really, really low on hydraulic fluid, like almost empty, which would explain a lot of the jerking that was happening. So I just added as much fluid as I had here and we're gonna see what happens now. That's better. Hey guys, it's working. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, this is exciting. So I bought this plow used off Craigslist with the guy I bought it from had never even hooked it up to power. I didn't know if it worked and I got it for a really good price. So I'm just super stoked that everything seems to be working on it and it's all working out. We didn't really have the budget to buy a new plow and a truck to put the plow on. And so we were just gonna struggle this winter trying to figure out how to get in and out and use the Snowverlander. But now we have a reliable way in and out and it's heated, it's awesome. So yesterday with Courtney on the excavator and me shuttling snow with the plow, we were able to get our entire parking area in front of our shop plowed, and then it rained last night. So now we really feel like we need to get all of this slush off the road before it hard freezes tonight because the low tonight is down in the low 20s. So I'm gonna start plowing the road today. Wish me luck. Did you guys feel like things were going too well for us? Cause we sure did. <laughs> but things got a little interesting <laughs> yesterday. So as you know, we got the snow plow hooked up and working and then I set off to do my first time ever plowing the road. And it was going really well. The plow works awesome. The truck had tons of traction. I felt like I was really making good progress on the road. And then the motor mount failed, the engine shifted, the fan got stuck. I noticed the temperature starting to rise on the engine but caught it in time, got the fan shroud out to get the fan spinning again. At that point, I decided to turn around and head back up here to the shop so I could get that fixed. Right as I was pulling up to the shop, one of the rear chains broke and wrapped around the brake lines and ripped the rear hard brake line off the axle. <laughs> then there were no brakes. <laughs> then it started raining more. And then with the heavy snow on the roof of the building, all of the snow <laughs> slid off the building and landed on top of our enclosed trailer. We thought it was far enough away, but when the snow had enough momentum that it like shot out <laughs> sideways and blasted the trailer. Um, there was a ladder buried in the snow that I didn't know was there and I was clearing with the excavator and I completely destroyed it. Luckily it was not our new ladder that Mark sent us. So all of that happened within the course of 24 hours. It was yesterday about four o'clock, we took a moment, we hit pause and we said, what do we need to do to get all of this fixed before the next storm comes in? Luckily, they had everything in stock that we needed to fix the truck. We got new parts for the truck. We got tire chains for the truck that aren't gonna break. We got like really legit ones. We worked late last night on continuing to clear snow off the trailer and everything that had shed and we are totally cleared now. It looks really good around here and I think we're ready for the ne this next storm. However, we do need to get the truck fixed so that we can plow 
once it starts. Well, it already has started snowing. Today's projects also include getting the enclosed trailer moved to a safer spot, moving the army truck, and just getting a little more organized around here. All right, so I'm gonna get to it and try to get this truck fixed. Step one is to fix the broken rear brake line. That's, you can see where it got absolutely ripped out by the chains. It's kind of in between two sizes, so I bought two of them. At the, uh, at the local auto parts store, you can buy brake lines that are pre-flared and then already have the nuts installed. It saves a lot of time, and they're only like eight bucks each. So I bought two lengths because it seemed like it was kind of in between. I'm gonna start with the shorter one and try to make it work so I don't have a lot of extra line, but I might have to use the longer one. So I just made another discovery. The bleeder screw is already broken off. So I can't bleed these. I think that because of the spot where the line broke and it being higher than the caliper, I, th I don't think that the caliper has air in it. So I'm gonna try to bleed it through the brake lines. But either way, I need to get a new caliper now for this truck because uh, I can't really return it with a broken brake bleeder. You're probably thinking, Riley, you have a shop. Why are you working on this out in the snow? Honestly, our camper is all set up in there as our home right now, and it's in the way. We've got extension cords and the heater exhaust and everything just all set up, and I would rather just deal with working out in the snow and in the cold for a couple of hours than move all of that out, move this in. Plus, the snow is still a novelty to me, so it's kind of fun. How's your second coat of paint? I'm editing. Oh. <laughs> I gotta give you content. You people are hungry. <laughs> you kind of look like Rapunzel. Let but your hair down. You know, sometimes I despise doing this kind of repair work and sometimes I kind of enjoy it. I think it's all just a frame of mind thing and right now I'm kind of enjoying it despite the weather. The broken engine mount is this piece way down in here. And I know it's broken because the engine shifted it enough that the fan, that's also hard to show you, moved down and was rubbing on the fan shroud, stopping the fan from being able to spin. There was like a bunch of chunks of rubber sort of half squirted out of this thing. So I think the rubber is just disintegrated over years of abuse. Hopefully these bolts aren't rusted and seized. I just realized if I drop the plow, it's gonna lift the truck up a lot. So I'm gonna do that. Let's see if we can get the last two bolts out. All right, got the motor mount loose. Also remember that there's hot wires down here at the starter from the battery. notice there's no rubber there there's supposed to be rubber there if you look at this replacement it's got a nice rubber pad that would explain why the motor fell down and the fan stopped spinning if you remember when i said there were hot wires down there and i uh, should be careful not to arc it i arced it <laughs> Uh, all right, so I'm gonna pull the starter out because I cannot get that new mount in there The old mount was just so floppy that I was able to manipulate it But I can't do that with the new one. So so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this starter I think the peace of mind is gonna be worth it not wondering every time I hop in the truck and turn the key if it's gonna start or not <laughs> That's how much snow has fallen since I started this project. Okay, time to find out if it starts with the new starter. Motor mount is now fully bolted in, so I think the only thing I have left to fix is to bleed the brakes. Well, let's start. Hey, all right. Cool. Nice. Press. Just say we are bleeding Press. the brakes. Hopefully this thing is ready to go soon. 
All right, brakes are bled. Now it's time to get these dinky chains off and get our beefy chains installed. So at least three of the parts that go across the tire broke off on this side yesterday, and I think four or five on the other side did. And this is what ended up getting wrapped around our brake line in the rear. I don't think these chains are up to the task, but we got some way beefier ones to show you. They are Trig brand. Whoa, those are big old nuggets. <laughs> Look at the size of them things. So the tensioners we bought, the little cheap clips on them like unfolded and released the tension. Our neighbor uses these heavy duty bungee cords with good success, so we're gonna give them a shot. Let us know in the comments below what you think. How do you tension your chains? What are you up to? I'm gonna put this hitch pin in so that if we need to yank on someone, we can yank from the hitch, but uh, I need to get like a. <laughs> oh. 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 <sighs> Perfect. Now that that's installed, the next job is to put the hitch on so we can move the trailer. <laughs> he said the brakes work, that's good. It's time to find out if the army truck starts because uh it's been a few months since we've started it and last time we cold started it, it didn't really want to start so we'll see oh Eep. i just broke the handle <laughs> what's up Recently someone left a comment on one of our videos that had us dying laughing. I don't think it was meant to be a compliment, um, but we kind of took it that way. They said, you're so in over your heads that you might be drowning in an ocean. The last few days have been, there's been a lot going on. And... But we figured it out. We're making it work and it's pretty fun. Like we're on our property in Idaho and it's snowing. We're definitely not winter experts. We've never lived somewhere in the winter. So we're learning along the way and having a lot of fun too. Snap. Good second snap. What? He <laughs> <laughs> just told me he was. We actually do have a solution for that coming very soon. It just showed up in the mail, so stay tuned on that because we have a mouse problem. And I think I found an awesome solution. Here we go. That's power. It's trying. Woo! Well, it started. Remember last time when you did that in our building? Yes, it made a big, big, big mess. I am super stoked that this thing started. I had my doubts, but hey, it did it. These trucks don't have glow plugs or a grid heater, so they only cold start. There is an ether injection system, but I have never touched it. I don't even know if there's ether in it. So that'll be something to figure out before next winter. I'm gonna hop in that excavator now and I'm gonna go clear out that spot to move the trailer to. <laughs> dumping snow right now. I got everything cleared out. It's time to move the trailer and then we are done with our outside stuff. You look like a... <laughs> All right, let's get this done.
Well, there you go. That was a day of things we should have done earlier, but we never did. But now it's done and now we can focus on what? What's next? Um, it's Christmas Eve, so I think we're gonna make a yummy dinner, go sit by the fire and hang out. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. We had a nice morning with some coffee and Zooming our family. And I think we got six inches of snow last night. So we're gonna take the plow truck out and see if we can't get our road cleaned up with our newly fixed plow truck and our newly installed chains. Too, and so it's making a really good combination. We are making some great progress on this road. I think I need a skid steer. Drop down in the comments if you think Courtney should get a skid steer for Christmas. A girl can dream, right? The light just came on the dash and it said service brake system. I think we're brake, leaking brake fluid out of the rear right caliper. Um, can you help me investigate? I need you to press the brake. Okay guys, what is going on here? Definitely drenched in brake fluid. Hit the brakes. Whoa, stop. Hit the brakes. Whoa. It's coming out at the brake line where it screws into the rubber hose. I'm gonna try to just tighten it. Riley can tell you what just happened when I tried to start the truck. It goes, I don't think the starter's engaging. Try again so YouTube can hear. Hey, fixed it. You guys are just gonna have to believe me, that was a hellacious noise. Okay, Courtney, try squeezing the brakes. Nope. I only have a Leatherman with me, so I couldn't really get it any tighter. We're gonna just try to drive back to the shop without using the brakes, park there, and then we can take the Snowverlander down to Courtney's car to go to town to get more brake fluid. Oh wait, no, it's Christmas, so everything's closed. So I think we're done plowing for the day. Actually, that's not true. We got a lot done. It looks a lot better. So there's that. Hopefully we make it back with no brakes. Okay, now it's flashing engine overheated. Oh my gosh. I lost in the snow. No, the fan's spinning. Okay. Maybe going up the hill though, it was stuck and not spinning. So I'm gonna leave the hood popped. It's coming down. It came way down. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Yeah, look how look at it dropping. All right, Riley Casey, what happened now? Uh, the driver's side motor mount is also broken, and so the engine is still shifted and still hitting the fan shroud. I was hoping to only do one side. I guess I'm doing both sides. Keeping an eye on the temps, not using the brakes, and creeping back to the shop. Live to plow another day. It's a plow truck, man. We have to use quite a bit of throttle to get up this last section of hill and Riley was worried about um, getting it stuck again so he pulled the fan shroud off. Apparently I'm using the plow as my brakes. I put the plow down, I put the truck in drive, then I lift the plow up and we're ready to go. All right, we made it back to the shop, but of course all the stores are closed because it's Christmas. So I think we're gonna enjoy the rest of our Christmas day by getting some other stuff done. We'll plow more tomorrow. <laughs>